They feared it, this symbol for nothing, because once you wrote it down, the world no longer behaved the same. Picture a warm night in 7th century India. Oil lamps flicker, palm leaf manuscripts rustle softly in the dark. In this quiet, breathing space between ink strokes, a dangerous idea waits to be named. How do you describe emptiness without erasing everything else? For centuries, merchants, astronomers and scholars had worked around the void. They counted cattle, stars, days, but when nothing stood in a place, they left it blank. A pause. A silence. Useful, but untouchable. Because nothing, once acknowledged, threatens everything that depends on certainty. Then came Brahmagupta. He wasn't a conqueror. He didn't command armies. He sat with numbers the way others sat with prayer, patient, focused, unafraid of paradox. And in his writings, he did something radical. He said the quiet part out loud. Zero is a number, not a placeholder, not a trick, a real thing, and suddenly the universe shifted. Brahma Gupta described how numbers behave when they meet zero, when they gain nothing, lose everything, or fall into something undefined. Multiplying collapses, subtracting erases, division fractures logic itself. These weren't flaws, they were truths. Zero didn't simplify math, it exposed it. Here's the twist. This wasn't just mathematics, it was philosophy. In a culture deeply familiar with ideas of emptiness, cycles, and cosmic balance, zero wasn't terrifying. It was honest. Emptiness wasn't absence, it was potential. A pause before creation, a breath between moments. But the world beyond India wasn't ready. When zero travelled west centuries later, it was called dangerous, forbidden, even demonic. How could nothing be something? How could you owe nothing and still be in debt? How could absence carry weight? Yet once zero slipped into global mathematics, it became unstoppable. Without it, there is no algebra, no calculus, no accounting, no coordinates to map the earth or the stars, no binary code, no computers, no modern world. Every time you check your phone, measure time or watch numbers climb and crash on a screen, you're standing on that ancient idea that nothing can be counted, defined and understood. The most powerful number ever created wasn't one or ten or infinity, it was zero. Because once humanity learned to face nothing, everything became possible. If this story made you see the world differently, take a moment to like, share and subscribe and tell me in the comments what other hidden origins you'd like to explore next.